So in this video, we're going to look at how you make the financial system more stable. And we're going to look at basically two ways. First of all, we'll look at stress tests, and then we'll look at the implications of the glass steel rule act and ring fencing. So first of all, stress testing, what is that? Um, and basically central banks, because they mainly regulate the financial system, central banks analyze uh, using hypothetical unfavorable scenarios, what would happen to a bank within that situation? Would it go bankrupt? Would it survive or would it fail? So scenarios might be a deep recession um, or you could look at historical situations like the there was a tech bubble burst in 99 when tech stocks fell significantly. Many banks survived no problem. Um, or you could look at something more major like a Great Depression, or you could look at a situation where unemployment rose to say 10% um, of the, the, the labour market and share prices fell 15%, property prices fall 30%, kind of thing that could happen. Um, and then would banks survive that situation? And as banks are, are more capitalised after 2008, then their survival becomes, of course, more likely, and therefore the risk to financial stability come, uh, is, is lower. Um, of course, remember there's a trade-off. If you've got banks carry more capital, they're less profitable, okay, and may have to charge slightly higher interest rates on loans and give less good interest rates on their savings. So there is a trade-off to holding more capital. Um, if a bank's fail stress tests, then they must increase their capital reserves and uh, they may have to give fewer dividends to shareholders in order to do this. And there are some quite famous banks that fail stress tests, such as Santander, a very large bank, and Deutsche Bank, another very large bank. Um, obviously, they've recapitalized and this is probably not a problem now. And there's another area we need to look at, um, which has occurred since 2008. Going back a fair way to the last major recession in the 1930s, the um, Glass-Steagall Act in 1933 was designed to make the financial system safer and more stable. Um, it separated investment banking from commercial banking. The idea is that high street banking and those high street banks should be separate institutions from investment banks that some call casino banks because they take much greater risks. Okay? Lehman Brothers, for example, was uh, an investment bank. Some might say a casino bank. Okay? And so if you separate these out, it means the investment bank can perhaps collapse with less damage but the high street bank, of course, is still standing because, because it's a separate institution. Um, the Glass-Steagall Act actually came to an end in 1999. And of course, in the 90s into the 2000s, we have what's often referred to as light of touch regulation in financial services. And we know what happened, of course, in 2008. So um, perhaps we need to revoke that, reverse that. Some people argue for reintroducing Glass-Steagall. Um, but others have argued, such as the Vickers Report in 2011, which is an independent banking commission in the UK, they argue for ring fencing. So you can still have a universal bank, like Barclays, but includes um, an investment arm and also a high street banking arm. But the, the, the high street banking, the con for, for commercial purposes, has to be ring fenced. It has to be a separate um, legal entity, and in the words of the report, it has to be a high ring fence. So it has a separate board of directors, a separate legal entity, separate accounts, and that's what you need for retail banking. Um, and the idea also in the Vickers report is we need to make sure there's a decent capital cushion, cushion of between 10 and 20 percent. So the very largest bank uh, might have to be 17 to 20 percent, the Vickers report recommended. And the whole point of stress testing and the Vickers report is to maintain financial stability so that the real economy doesn't suffer from huge negative shocks.
as a result of a financial crisis like we had in 2008. Thank you very much for watching.